Hello, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm actually gonna be creating this kind of deep brown sunset eye look with the James Charles palette. So if you guys wanna see how I created this look, go ahead and keep watching. So for this look, I'm going to start off with the James Charles palette and I'm going to be taking this shade right here, this yellow shade called B, and I'm going to apply that into my crease in transition. These really are pretty pigmented and they don't they do have a little fallout like in the pan. I don't notice like too much fallout on the eye, but they do for sure have fallout in the pan. Like it's a, well, it's really dusty, I should say. Not necessarily fallout, it's just really dusty in the pan, but I don't notice too much fallout like on my face. And I'm just using this Wet n Wild blending brush. A little bit more until I get the shade that I want. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the other eye. Same thing, just gonna place it sort of in the crease, but transition. A little bit more. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to pick up is going to be the shade Code James, and that's going to be this brown shade, brownish orange shade right here. And I'm going to just take an e.l.f. eyeshadow blending brush, like I said, the crease, and sort of up in the transition as well. Just kind of blending them together. Move on to the next eye. Although these shades are super pigmented, I really do tend to go a little bit light and just keep adding and adding and building up until I get the shade I want. I don't usually like to go in too heavy handed because that's when I make mistakes. So I always like to go in a little light handed. Okay, and the next shade I'm gonna go into in my crease is going to be the one right next to that one called 10% off. And I'm just going to apply that with the same brush, kind of deepen it up. Since the shade we put on right under this, well, the first one was yellow, and then the one right under this was kind of like that yellowy orange. The shades are coming out kind of like orangish, even though this one is kind of like a deeper brown, but that's okay. They kind of all kind of mash together and create a nice color anyways. Same thing on the other side, just adding to like the crease and slightly into the transition with the 10% off. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade No Beans on my eyelid, and that is this shade right over here. It's, the same, it's in the same row, 
it's the darker brown right here and I'm just going to place that all over my eyelid and I'm going to use this elf eyeshadow C brush to do that so I'm just going to start placing it all over my eyelid just deepening it up It's funny because although this is like a really dark brown, it almost looks kind of like purple and burgundy at the same time. It's really funny. But it is like a deep brown, but does look purpley. Slight purple undertone to it. I like this eyeshadow C brush because of the shape. It's like fluffy, but it's really flat. And I can really get into the crease like this, like to do my eyelid when I want to carve out where my eyelid color is. That's what I really like about it. So I'm just like kind of packing it on and then just moving it around where I want it. Just deepening it up and getting the shade I really want it to be. Again, just moving it back and forth. It's like brushes like this make your life so easy because it just fits right into the crease and you just can go back and forth. Very convenient and easy. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and place B on my lower lash line, that yellow shade that we used in the beginning for the transition, which is that bright yellow right down here. And I'm just gonna use this e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush kind of like smaller like this it's the same shape as the C brush but just smaller and I'm just gonna smudge that on my lower lash line Then I'm going to take and I'm going to put 10% off on top of that and smudge that with the yellow on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take this eyeshadow, this flat eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to put that same bright yellow, the B shade, on my inner corner to brighten it up. I swear I've been obsessed wanting to do an inner corner yellow eye look for so long and I was like you know what this is the perfect time with this palette I can create a deep brown sunset eye look with this palette and really go in with the yellow I'm like so obsessed with yellow now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take this glittery shade at the top called so good and I'm gonna take that with a, I believe this is a small concealer brush from Wet n Wild, but I like it for brow bone and inner corner and stuff like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and take that and apply it to my brow bone. Never can have too much gold sparkles. And this is the perfect glittery goldish brow shade with this eye look. It matches perfectly. All the golden kind of like pops out. I'm also wearing a gold highlighter today. I'm wearing one of the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighters. And I can't remember what it's called. I will link it below. But I thought gold highlighter with this eye look would be perfect. I think that's about done. And I'm going to apply a brown eyeliner today. This one is old and from the Ulta line. It's Ulta Gel Eyeliner in Chocolate. And I'm just going to apply that 
my lower waterline. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara off camera and I will be right back. Okay, I applied my mascara and this is the mascara I used. I typically reach for this all the time. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. And so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lip product today. I'm going to be applying this LA Girl lip liner and this one is in Bare. So I'm just gonna apply that. Finish my look. I'm going nude with the lips since my eyes are so bold. But this look would also look good with a deep brown or yellow brown for fall lip color. And I'm going to go in with this. Makeup Revolution, this is their Intense Lacquer, Salvation Intense Lacquer in More Than I Could Give. It's kind of like nude, really early skin nude kind of color. And in some light it kind of seems like it's got a pink undertone, sort of. Okay, and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me creating this look with the James Charles palette. And I've been really inspired with color and I thought I'm gonna create a kind of like a fall, kind of deep brown sunset eye look with the palette. And please don't forget to like and subscribe before leaving and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye.